Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord. All right, all right. Praise the Lord. Thank God for another Sunday morning. Thank God for bringing us back to the house of worship one more time. For communion Sunday. God bless you. So we will get started with our devotion now. We will ask each and every one of you to join in us. Let us have a good time. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus. All right, Brother Paul. All Thank right, you. praise the Lord, everybody. <laughs> Hallelujah. It was not just... It was not just, you know, the sun lifting me this morning, but it was love that's lifted me. And you know what? That love comes what? From the glory of God and celebrating what he's done for us and what he does for us. Not only just yesterday, not only today, but also for the future, right? Hallelujah, hallelujah. So just go ahead and join in with us and sing just a little bit of love lifted me. Love lifted me when nothing else could help. Love lifted me. Oh, I tell you, it is love lifted me. Oh, yeah, love lifted me when nothing, when nothing else could help. Love lifted me. Oh, I tell you, it's love. Love lifted me. Oh, love lifted me. When nothing, when nothing else could help. Love lifted me. Coming from the Lord, it's love. Oh, yeah. It's His gracious love. Love. Lifted me when nothing else could help. Love lifted me. Oh, it was God's love. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I was going to have a a scripture. And then we have a prayer. Turn it back over to Brother Paul. Good morning, church. Good morning. Blessing just to be here one more time. Hallelujah. I'll be reading a portion of these 67 songs. God, be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. See, love. That thy way may be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. O let the nation be glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. And God, even our own, God shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. I read the whole entire 67th Psalm. Thank the Lord for the reading of his holy word. Amen. 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 Good morning. Good morning. morning. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for waking us up this morning, Lord Jesus. We thank you for a brand new Sunday in the fourth month of the 2024 year, Lord Jesus. We ask you that you be with us as we learn another lesson um, in service today, Lord Jesus. Let us apply that lesson to our daily lives so that way we can walk better amongst your name, Lord Jesus. And we ask you that you forgive us for all of our sins and shortcomings, creating us a clean heart and renew the right spirit within us. And we ask you in all these things in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. In any service, you know, it's important that that we allow the Lord to use us. We're not coming out of the hymn book this morning. We're going to do something a little simple here. Simple song. Here we go. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. Oh, yeah. 
You can use anything, Lord. You can use me. Take my hand, Lord, and my feet. Touch my heart, Lord, speak through me. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. If you can use anything, Lord, come on, y'all. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. Oh, yeah. If you can use, you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. Touch my heart, Lord, touch my heart, Lord, and my feet. Yeah, touch my heart, Lord, speak through me. Oh, you can use, you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. That's all it is. Oh, you can use, you can use, you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. Yeah, you can use, you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. Take my, take my hands, Lord, take my hands, Lord, and my feet, touch my heart. Touch my heart, Lord, speak through me. You can use, you can use anything, Lord. You can use me. Oh, I'm ready to go on in and have church now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm ready to have church this morning. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Use me, Lord. I want to be used. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. All right, thank you. God bless each and every one of you. Now we're going to turn the remainder of the service in the hand of the pulpit. God bless. Let's have a good time. We want to thank our deacon board for the devotion committee. We want to thank our choirs and our musicians. But we also want to thank you for coming out, giving God the highest praise. For God is worthy of all our praise. I don't know about you, but I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord one more time. <clears throat> because I wasn't feeling this good this weekend, but I say if I just can make it to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. I know that everything will be all right. It's something about coming through them doors. Like Pastor said, being seen, not viewed. And I was seen this morning. I thank God that God allowed me to be seen. I don't know about you, but it's a blessing yeah. when God can wake you up early in the morning, yeah. allow you to open up your eyes, hmm. to inhale and exhale, and stand out your bed and stand on your own two feet Amen. and see that everything was still intact. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Someone do, do not have a home to go to. They don't have a table to sit at. They don't have food in their refrigerator. They don't have clothes in their closet or shoes. But you have everything. And we need to give God the highest praise. Because he is worthy of all our praise. And we come this morning to serve him, to worship him in spirit and truth. We are glad that everyone is here. We ask that everyone will stand to their feet as we prepare ourselves to be uh, 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 moved in prayer because we have, must invite the Holy Spirit to come that we may have church. Let us pray, most gracious and loving God. It's once again, Lord, you blessed us to see another Sunday. Lord, a resurrection Sunday, the day that you got up from the grave with all power in your hands. Father, now we come to invoke the Holy Spirit to come in, to have his own way. Because, Lord, we realize we cannot have church without the Holy Spirit. Because you say you will go away, but you will send us a comforter that will lead and guide us to all truth. Lead us today, comforter. Lead us to praise and worship you in spirit and truth. Lead us, let your rain fall afresh and new upon us. 
that we may do what is pleasing in the eyesight of God. Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for being kind to us when we haven't been kind to ourselves. Thank you for being loving to us when we haven't loved someone else. But Lord, we just want to say thank you because you washed over us. You washed over us from Sunday to this Sunday. And you allowed us to walk in rather than be rolled in. Father, we pray that you will bless our pastor. Lord, we thank you for him being here today. We pray, Lord God, that you will continue to build him up on every leaning side. Give him the strength where he is weak. But Lord, take him down in the wonderful treasures of your word. Bring him back up with that power that only you can give, Lord. That he may preach to a waiting congregation. That he may tell your story. Because your story is our story. Because you got up, Father. We all was able to get up, Lord. And we just want to say thank you. So, Father, we ask that you will have your way in him. Use him, Lord, for your glory and your glory only. And, Lord, I ask that you will touch everyone in the sound of my voice. Use us all, Lord God, as we lift you up today. Because you are worthy to be lifted up. So, Father, we be so careful. But give thy name the glory, the honor, and praise. Because it's always belonged to you, Lord. And we just want to say thank you. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Our soul say amen. Let us remain standing for our responsive reading. I want to say good morning to everyone and thank you all for your prayers. And I'm able to be standing here this morning. Our responsive reading is from John chapter 6, verses 51 through 58. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, Ye have no life in you. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. As the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father. So he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. All together. This, this is the bread which came, came down from heaven. heaven. Not, Not as your fathers did eat man, and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. Amen. Amen. Pass, pass me not, O gentle Savior, Lord, hear my humble cry, while on others, while on others thou art calling, do Bye. 
Oh, singing, Savior, oh, Savior, Lord, hear my humble cry. While, while on others thou art calling, Lord, do Let me add a throne of mercy. Let me add a throne of mercy. Find a sweet relief. A sweet relief. Kneeling there in deep contrition. Yeah. In deep contrition. Help my unbelief. Oh, yeah. My, my unbelief. Oh, we're calling on you, saints. Oh, blessed, oh, blessed. Lord, hear. I know you will. Hear my, my humble, my humble cry. While on others, while on us. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh yeah, Lord, don't pass me by. I know you won't. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm singing, Savior. Oh, blessed, blessed. Lord, hear, hear my, hear my, hear my humble cry. Why? Wow. On others, thou art, thou art calling. Lord, do not go past me by. I believe we'll do that one more time. Calling on you, Savior. Oh, blessed Savior. Lord, hear, hear my heart. Hear my humble cry, oh, why? While on other thou art calling, Lord, do not pass, don't pass me by, oh, yeah. When those blessings are coming down, Lord, do not, do not pass, don't pass, don't pass me by, oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Second of St. Paul. Good morning. Today is Sunday, April the 7th. This morning, we will celebrate Holy Communion. Our 2024 Men's Day Drive is in session. Junior Deacon Toya is the chairperson. Order forms for the Centennial Anniversary Book, 100 Years of Service in Pictures, is due today. The cost is $60. Please submit your payment in, the, in a church envelope with a completed order form. You may give your payment to Sister Nowden or Brother Stancil. <clears throat> Brown bags for the homeless will resume this month. Amen. Following this morning's service, the coordinator, Deacon Johnny Williams, would like to meet briefly with anyone who is interested in volunteering. The first outing will be Saturday, April 13th at 8 a.m., followed by the second Saturday in each month. Thursday, April the 11th, homegoing service for Sister Marilyn Washington. The family will gather at 10 o'clock service at 11, burial at Harmony in Landover, followed by a repast for the immediate family here at Second and St. Paul. Sunday, April 14th, Mail Course Annual Day, ministry roll call will be presented during the offering period. Brother Tim Green is the president. Beginning Sunday, April 21st, and the third Sunday in each month, the Youth Fellowship Ministry will meet in a daycare classroom. 
Sister Leslie Bournes is the president. Friday, April 26th, at 10 o'clock, memorial service for Sister Deanie Blanding McClure, daughter of Deacon Blanding. It will be held at West Hydesville Baptist Church, 3100 Nicholson Street in Hydesville, Maryland. Then Sunday, April 28th at 1030, Pastor Benjamin will celebrate his 17th pastoral anniversary. <clears throat> Our guest preacher will be Reverend Dr. Lucius M. Dalton, pastor of Mount Moriah Baptist Church here in Washington, D.C. Ministry roll call and individual love offerings for Pastor Benjamin and Pastor Dalton may be presented during the offering period. Uh, Sister Fatima Wilkins was in an accident last week and she broke her arm. She was in Washington at Venice Hospital. She is now in Autumn Lake Medical Center in Silver Spring, Maryland. So let's keep her in prayer. <clears throat> We're so glad to have Reverend Odessa Jackson back with us this morning. As well as Sister Joyce Hudgens, she's in the choir now. Welcome back to both of you. Okay. Following the reading of the guidelines, uh, we will hear from Deaconess Tracy Stewart and Junior Deacon Maurice Toyer. Amen. <clears throat> A simple thank you doesn't mean like enough. When someone does something as nice as you did, there's a growing gratitude that won't ever end. Even once the card is sent, the memory and the good feeling will linger. With heartfelt gratitude and appreciation, the Prather family. Now the Prather family is Sonia and Roger Prather. They are the daughter of Sister Vera Bruce. If you recall, uh, they um, endured a fire in their home. They are here today. Would you stand please? Good job. We're so good to see you vertical in here. <laughs> Bless your hearts. Bless your hearts and thank you for coming. <clears throat> okay. Guidelines for attending church. To all who attend Sunday school and worship service, we encourage you to be vaccinated. Until further notice, the Franklin Street door will be the only entrance and exit and all services will remain streamlined and modified. Unless otherwise indicated, the wearing of face mask is optional. Upon entry, each person must have their temperature checked. If your temperature is 100.4 or higher, entrance will be denied. Hand sanitizer and face masks are available. Once inside the church, members and guests are not to venture beyond the main vestibule, first floor restrooms, and sanctuary. The Crystal Room Cafeteria, Kitchen, and Education Center will be off limits to everyone. No one is allowed upstairs except for the trustees. Sunday school cl class will begin promptly at 9.15 in the sanctuary and will end at 10.15. This will be the only class available in the church. We recommend you arrive by 9 o'clock. Any personal communication with Pastor Benjamin must be done by a written note or you may call him on the number indicated in the bulletin. Devotion will begin promptly at 1020. Service will begin at 1030. We recommend you arrive by 10 o'clock. There will be one offering and ushers will not pass around offering baskets. For your convenience, offering envelopes have been placed behind each pew. Offerings must be placed in an offering envelope. We ask that you complete the envelope with your name, date, designated offering, and amount. If you need to use more than one envelope, you may do so. Members and guests will process to the tithe box where they may deposit their offerings. Missionary offerings will be placed in the offering basket held by a trustee. During altar call, members and guests are to stand, remain in their pew, and pray. During Holy Communion, the covenant reading will be omitted. Members and guests may process to the communion table to pick up their communion cup. Used communion cups are to be placed in cup holders behind the pews. At the end of the service, ushers will direct the congregation from the sanctuary. Everyone must exit the church immediately following the service. God bless you, Second Day St. Paul. So good to see you. Everyone have a great week.
Second New St. Paul. Good morning. I'm here on behalf of the Women's Day Drive. Um, but before I do this, I want to say that I'm here early because we want to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to pay and make payments to go on the trip. But we do not in any way want to impede on the Men's Day Drive. We love the men of Second New St. Paul. We love and support Maurice. And we want to do everything we can to support the Men's Day Drive. Amen? Amen. 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 So, we are going to see, we're going to sight and sound to see Daniel in um, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And the trip is Thursday, September the 19th. The show is at 11 a.m., so the bus will leave Second New St. Paul at 7 a.m. Now, the cost of the trip is $175 for adults and children ages 13 and over, and $125 for children under the age of 13. And the cost of the trip includes the transportation, tickets to the play, um, Hershey Farms, restaurant, a tip for the driver, and continental breakfast. Now we want you to make your payments. If you plan to go, make payments as soon as possible because there are only six seats left. So this is a hot ticket, so you want to make sure that you go. If you would like to go, um, please make payments to uh, Sister Lisa McKenzie and Sister Elaine Toya. Um, please note that the tickets are the, the payments are non-refundable. If anything happens and you need a refund, they'll make every possible opportunity to find a replacement. Amen. Thank you very much. Good morning again. I am chairperson of the Men's Day Drive for 2024 and 2025. We're going to get that out the way. Um, <laughs> the uh, Men's Day Drive is up until May 26, uh, 2024. Um, the assessment is $250, but if you don't have that, you can give what you can. Uh, we appreciate it, and we encourage you to participate. Um, team leaders are posted in the Vestaview. So if you don't know who your team leader is, your name um, is posted in the uh, lobby, so you can just check there. And um, um, team leaders, I encourage you to make contact with your members, so that way they can you know, make their assessments uh, during offer time at church and everything. Um, yeah, so if you don't give it to your team leader, you could just give it um, in the offering basket. Excuse me, I'm sorry. And. Also, we'd like to thank everyone who has made full payments for the Men's Day Drive and those who are making payments in installments. We appreciate you and we love you for that. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, you can always call me. Um, my number should be posted on the vestibule as well, but if not, just come to me and I'll answer any question you have. Thank you. God has smiled on me. He has set me free. Oh, God has smiled on me. He's been good. Help me sing it. I said, God, God has, has, he has proud on, on me. And he has set my he soul. Set, set me free. Yes, I said, God. God He's been good, He's been good, good to, to me. me. 
listen. A lamp unto my path there's he. Without him I know I would have fallen. I don't know what he is to you. Oh no. But to me, he's not my only Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. I know that God, God is. He smiled on me. Smiled on me. And he has set my soul. He has, he has set, set my soul. Me. I don't know what God has done for you, but I can truly say for myself, He's made ways out of no ways. He's opened doors for me. In my lifetime, God has brought me out of desperate situations. I can truly say that God has been good. He's been good to me. Help me see it quiet. I know God has. God has. He smiled on me. Smiled on me. He's been good. He has set, set me free. Yes, I know my God. God has. Has. Hallelujah. He's smiled on me. for me has he been good to you he's been good to me he's been good 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 up in here he's been good to all of us not just some of us he's been good to all of us with his grace his mercy his love his patience with us amen his compassion upon us come on let's give the Lord some more hand praise up in here amen what a mighty God we serve has it been good to you amen we do give honor, first of all, to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Certainly should be reigning in all of our earthly Christian living, ministerial staff, my wife, official family, and certainly to all others who are here assembled under the sound of my voice. Amen. The Lord has blessed us yes. and placed us on this side of another Easter Sunday morning. Amen. Amen. We, we, we thank God for all that he has has done for us from the early rocking of our cradle up into this present time. We're so very grateful for that. I was impressed with what I saw uh, with the young people on last Sunday, amen. The children, amen. Uh, Sister Boeing and the Youth Fellowship Ministry are doing a beautiful job with these young people. I trust that you will continue to do all that you can, amen, to be able to, to help us with these young people, amen. 
Amen. Amen. We, 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 we know the churches today, is, 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 it's really different. COVID-19 has, has struck a, a mighty blow against us, but we do know that uh, God in time works things out. Amen. You know, you see, God, God's time is not our timing. Amen. But if you just continue to pray and wait on him, his time will come. Amen. He had to open that door to make that way. Amen. And we just thank God. Let us continue to pray much for, for our youth fellowship ministry and let the Lord which continue to bless in a mighty way. Amen. And I just have a good feelings for all of what God is going to do for this church. Yes, indeed. I thank him for what he's already done. Amen. But I got good feelings about what he's going to do in the future. Amen. 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 And I just thank God for that. I just want to yeah, share it with you all. Amen. That the Lord is, is on a blessing mood. Amen. With second we St. Paul Baptist Church. Yeah, he's on a blessing mood. Amen. 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 I'm sure we're all aware of an earthquake with a magnitude of 4.8 that happened on the East Coast. Amen. How many of you all felt it? Raise your hand. Nobody felt it. <laughs> when it was over the news, <laughs> there was even new aftershocks at the preliminary magnitude of 4.0. Amen, amen, amen. And there, there, there is, I think it's to Taiwan, is it Taiwan? Yeah, that had an earthquake that did a whole lot of damage. Amen, buildings were, were, were tumbled down and, and what have you, and a lot of people were covered up, you know, with rocks and, and building parts and what have you. And, and there were some, I, I assume, who lost their lives. Amen. It just goes to show us, you know what I'm saying, that uh, our earthquake could have been just as bad. But, but, but the grace of God and his mercy, yeah, yeah. amen, overshadowed us as well as his favor. Amen. And we thank God for that. Amen. But we have to pray for people like these people in Taiwan. You see what I'm saying? Because what happened to them could have happened to us. Amen. Amen. And, I, you know, I, I, I see oh, so much about Trump on t television and everything on the news, you know what I'm saying? I get, I get depressed every time I see, uh, you, know, you know, he's making all kinds of threats now, you know what I'm saying? I said, Lord, have mercy. You know, you know he's all discombobulated, resorting, and y'all know what he's resorting to, selling tennis shoes and Bibles. Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and now with the Bible, he's selling... Yeah, he needs to come to know the God that the Bible is all about. Preach, Amen. Yeah. That's it. Amen. That's what he needs yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Talk to me, somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trump is something else, I tell you. But you know what? You've got to take into consideration God is still sitting on his throne. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Truth crushed to the ground will rise. I keep telling you, the mm. wrong can't live on forever, huh? Right. Amen. Oh, no. Oh, no. So let us be mindful of that. And, and when we consider the weather, you know, we're blessed. We, we, we've had good weather here. I mean, it's been a little cold. The wind has been blowing. It's been chilly and what have you. But after all, you know what I'm saying, winter hasn't completely left us. That's right. Amen. I know it's springtime on the calendar, but winter hasn't completely left us. Yeah, yeah. When we consider the weather in several states of our country, we find there has been unbelievable destruction due to an April Northeaster and also tornado outbreaks. Have you watched in the news? You see how those people out in the Midwest, you know what I'm saying? Those tornadoes is flattening their homes and what have it, destroying us so much that, you know, that they have. So we, we, we need to be thankful to God how he has blessed us. Amen. And we need to pray for these people. Amen. Because what happened to them can also happen to us. Amen. Amen. You all ever recall a tornado coming through here? Somebody say, yep, amen. Yeah, that must have been before I came. Amen. <laughs> Bless your heart. <laughs> Bless your heart. <laughs> but that's all right, amen. That's all right. Yes, and, and how disturbing to know that Israel's bumming. You know, you know, to try to destroy Hamas is totally out of control. Yeah, bumming these food trucks. They're trying to carry food to these people that, that, that are starving over there. You, you see what I'm saying, you know. So a lot of things are being done, you know what I'm saying, causing people and nations to have a, a funny feeling, a different feeling, and a hateful feeling toward Israel. Amen. And one day that's going to be, it's going to be that way. 
But that's what the future says. It says premillennial eschatology. Amen. One day it's going to be that way. And we, the, the, the stage is being set for the ending of time. Amen. But we do know that God is going to see us through. Oh, yeah. We belong to him and he belong to us. Thank God for that. I do believe these are all the announcements that I have to share with you at this particular time. If there are any other announcements that you would like to have made, we're going to ask that you please pass them to the pulpit by way of a note. And at this time, we're going to prepare and make ready for the lifting of our offering. I trust that we will give as the Lord has prospered us. Let us give as the Lord has blessed us. Amen. For the Lord loveth the cheerful giver. It is more blessed to give than it is to receive. It's now in the hands of our ushers and our trustees. Amen. Just another number with a tragedy, thank you, Lord, but you did not seem for any of these things to be. Every day by your power, you keep on keeping me, and I want to say thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me, yeah, yeah, it could have been me, I'll do with no food and no clothes all alone without a friend or just another number with a tragedy Lord but you did not see but any of these things to be without keep on keeping and I want to say
Let us all stand for the offertorial. All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. grateful for what you have given in the Lord's house on this another Lord's day. May the Lord bless you abundantly and sufficiently in return. Amen. It's prayer time. It's time for us to communicate with the Lord as a collective body of believers. You know, we should never get tired of praying. And we should never forget to pray. Why do you say that, preacher? Because the Lord said from his word, men ought to always pray. And to reinforce it, he says, pray without ceasing. And then he said, let your requests be made known. He want us to ask. And he'll give us what we ask for in his own time. There may be some things we ask for that we don't really need. He knows how to say no. Amen. But he's a good God. Let us all stand as we prepare for our altar call invocation. We're going to ask Minister Lawson will come. Amen. And lead us to the throne of grace as he comes to pray. Let us pray with him. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes. We come to say thank you. God, you've been so good to us. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes. You've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. God, my we Lord, say my thank Lord, you. My Lord, my Lord, yes. God, we pray in the name of Jesus. Let your presence be felt in the house. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Somebody's yes. going through stressful situations. Well, well, well. But God, we you know you're able. Yes, Lord. Yes, Disperse yes. it right now in the name of Jesus. My Lord, my Lord. Somebody might be sick in their body. We pray right now. Touch yes, and yes. heal right now. My Lord. My in Lord. the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody has a relationship problem. God, we know you're able to oh, step yes, right in oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, and resolve it right now. My Lord, my in Lord. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. God, somebody right now has a family problem. Yes, yes. God, yes. we know that you're able, oh God, to bring a peaceful state in the house. Oh, yes, oh, yes, in the oh, name yes. of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever the situation is, God, we know you're able. Yes, we yes. pray, Lord, that you will bless every family, every home. My Lord, my Lord. Right now. All over this church, Lord. Yes, yes. God, we know you're everywhere. My Lord, my Lord. At the same time, bless the choir oh, in the yes. name of oh, Jesus. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, bless yes. the pulpit in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Bless our oh, pastor. Yes. Please, Lord, in the please, name of please, Jesus. Yes, Bless yes. the deacons. Yes. In the name of Jesus. My Lord, my Lord. Hallelujah. My Lord, my Lord. Everyone. My Lord. We know that you're everywhere at the same time. Yes, yes. Move by your power. My Lord, my Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. In Jesus' name. Jesus. And then, Lord. When it's all said and done. Yes, yes. We can't come this way no more. My Lord, my Lord. Pray that thou would give us a home in thy kingdom. Yes, yes. We will praise your name forever. My Lord. This we ask in no other name but the name is above all names. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Jesus. Christ. And all the people of God say, Amen. Amen. Amen.
Sister McCall, are you feeling all right? You all right? All right. Bless your heart. We're grateful to Minister Lawson for sharing with us all to call invocation. And let us continue to be prayerful for our church as well as for all of what we're planning to do. We have many plans here at our church. Amen. Many things that we have decided and worked toward doing. Amen. Let us pray that the Lord will enable us to be successful with doing these things. Amen. God is able. God is mighty, mighty able. Let's give the Lord some hand praise. Amen. 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 All right, at this time, we're going to give way now to our musicians. Amen. Amen. And our choir. Amen. And they're going to sing and play until things get much better up in here. Amen. Let us all put something into the service. Amen. Bless your heart. I don't feel no waste time. I don't feel no waste time. I've come too far. Nobody told me. That the road, the road would, be easy. would be easy, but I, I that he brought me, he brought me this far yeah. to me. Say that again. I don't. I've come too far. I've come too far from where I started from. Oh. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. Why? I know somebody out there in the congregation can sing that too. I don't. I don't if you really believe it, no sing loud with us. I don't believe to leave me. To leave me. Yeah. Hallelujah. 
Yeah, I'm just ready for some word. Hallelujah. Have a seat. I'm ready for some word right now. I know I'm sorry I cut it off on y'all, but I'm ready to have some word. Because I don't believe he brought me this far. Believe me, but I need to hear some word. Hallelujah. Give the Lord some hand praise up in here. Don't believe he brought me this far. Believe. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, praise his name. Praise his name. Thank you, Jesus. Don't believe he brought me this far because he promised me yeah. he would never leave me nor forsake me. And lo, I'm with you always, even to the end of the world. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise his name. Praise his name. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God. Amen. Amen. None of us need to ever think that God has brought us this far to leave us. Should never think that. Because he made a promise to us from his word. He says, I will never leave you. Yes. I'm with you always. Even to the end of the world. Amen. And, 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 and God can't lie, so he, that promise is good. Mm, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. 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 Every head bowed at this hour. Our God and our Father, on this another day, you blessed us to see with our own eyes and experience with our own living. We come, Lord God, humbly before your majestic throne of grace in the name of Jesus. We come in the name of Jesus because there's power, there's mercy, there's compassion, there's love, and there's salvation in the name of Jesus. So we thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity to just call upon heaven's attention. Oh, my God, I pray that you would just bless us as only you can bless us. Thank you for the gathering together here today. Thank you, Lord God, for what has already been accomplished. Now, Lord God, I pray that you would just look tenderly upon me in the mighty name of Jesus I pray that you would just touch and you have appointed me and you've anointed me to stand in John's shoes and declare the truth between the living and the dead in the mighty name of Jesus lift me out of self and then fill me full of yourself enable me to declare proclaim and preach your word as you would have me to, to preach it Lord then bless the waiting congregation Lord help them merciful father to be able to receive what is being preached and then make it applicable in their daily walk with you, Lord. Bless us all and keep us all, I do pray. In Jesus' name and all God's people said, amen, amen and amen. Those of you who have your Bibles, turn with me to Malachi. And that's the last minor prophet before Matthew. <laughs> amen. Matthew, the third chapter in the first verse. I'm sorry, Malachi, the third chapter in the first verse. Math, Malachi. <laughs> Malachi is too close to Matthew, ain't it? <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Amen. Malachi, the third chapter and the first verse. Malachi. Yes, that's his name. <laughs> yes, the third chapter and the first verse. You will find these words. Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord, whom ye seek, shall suddenly come to his temple. Even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in, <coughs> Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. I said, Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. 
and the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in, behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. I want to talk briefly from this title, Expecting a Special Advent. Expecting a Special Advent. After you finish writing, look at your neighbor and say, Expecting a special advent. Bless your heart. Pray with me, if you will. The word advent, my beloved, the word <coughs> advent derives from the Latin word adventus, which means an arrival or visit. Advent is indeed considered to be a spiritual time of the year for various churches. Uh, but it requires patience. Amen. But one can easily agree that patience is a hard virtue to win. It's hard to be patient about a lot of things. Yes, yes. It's, it's hard to wait for anything because we live in a, I want it right now, world. Talk to me somebody. But good things, good things that's beneficial are certainly worth waiting for. Just ask the father who drives a hootie while he works overtime to buy himself a new car. Ask the mother who tutors her children every night until their grades improve. Ask the elderly who has cell phones and are waiting to learn how to use everything on them. Talk to me somebody. I have to raise my hand because I'm one of them. Yes, 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 yes. Ask the person who consistently plays the daily lottery, but ongoing bad luck has prevented that person from ever hitting. Are y'all going to pray with me? For you see, what gnaws at us is the anticipation of the arrival. We wait with bated breath for what we perceive to be just what we need. And that's where patience comes in. For it's true that patience enables us to endure the wait or tolerate uh, the time before our blessing arrives. Now, 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 during our Christian advent based upon Jesus' promise to return, we celebrate with preaching, we celebrate with teaching, we celebrate with singing, and we celebrate with great anticipation the arrival of the Lord Jesus Christ. Not the baby Jesus wrapped in swaddling clothes, but the adult man Jesus who has already come, but is coming again. One day in the clouds with all glory to claim the church, the body of Christ, as his own. Talk to me somebody. Yes, yes, in our text, my beloved, in our text in the Old Testament, the prophet Malachi, in the history of biblical days, reassures God's chosen people that their deliverer is coming. He is coming. He knows they are impatient. Some have already given up hope of his arrival. Still, Malachi reminds them of the Lord. Ye seek shall suddenly come to the temple, even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come. And yes, it's true, my beloved. It's true. It's true that in, uh, it's true that, it's true that we who are in this modern day, uh, uh, environment. It's true that we modern day Christians are waiting for our messenger also. Talk to me somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? But our wait is very different from their wait back in biblical days. Stay with me now. First we have to consider that Israel's concept Israel's concept of a Messiah was general in nature. 
Even the Old Testament prophets did not understand everything they prophesied. Because God did not give them all of the details. Are y'all going to pray with me? None of the prophets, with the exception of Isaiah, was given details. Are y'all going to pray with me? But isn't it, isn't it, isn't it uh, interesting to know how some people desperately want to know not only what happened, but also the details. Yeah, when folk we know, when folk we know who are in the hospital, we want to know the details. What's wrong with them? Talk to me, somebody. Y'all going to pray with me? Or a certain church uh, we may know of that's having problems. We want to know what caused the problem. Are y'all going to pray with me? These folk want to know the details of when we hear about a separation or a divorce of a married couple that we know. We want to know what happened. Talk to me, somebody. What went wrong? Now, it ain't none of our business, but we want to know the details. Now, as I said earlier, God did not give the prophets any details with the exception of Isaiah. For Isaiah 9, 6 says, Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Malachi. Malachi in his writing, Malachi in Malachi 3 and 3, did not understand all of the details himself. Because he said the messenger would purify the sons of Levi, but he did not say how or what the messenger would do to eradicate their sins. Jeremiah said in Jeremiah 32 and 40, the messenger would establish an everlasting covenant. But he gave no details of what would replace the Old Testament that required goats, bullocks, and doves. So therefore, my beloved, uh, God's chosen people were anticipating that this messenger of the covenant would arrive as someone great. But they did not know everything he would do when he arrived. No one seemed to know for sure. But that's not so. That's not so with us today. Can I get an amen on that? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For the circumstances of our expectations are far different. We who are of the body of Christ know when he came, why he came, and when he is coming back. Or why he's coming back. Amen. Talk to him. We don't know when, but we know why he's coming back. Talk to me, somebody. Our redemption gives us a sure and solid faith that he's coming back again. He's coming back again, I tell you, because he said that he would. And he is not short on his promises. Talk to me, somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? He's not short on his promises like some of us are. We may promise many things through the course of our living and fall short of keeping some of those promises. Many promises whole lot of promises are made at the altar with a promise of I do and later you feel you shouldn't you didn't mean to let me run that by you again <laughs> with a promise of I do and later you feel you didn't mean to talk to me somebody such promises are made and broken years later. Some promises are made to God on the sick bed. But when sickness is gone. The promise made is forgotten. Can I get a witness up in here? Personal promises. Personal promises are made in an attempt to get closer to God. Only to end up getting closer to everything else except God. Talk to me somebody. Yeah, yeah. Some folk don't do too well with promises. Are y'all going to pray with me? Are y'all going to pray with me? But there is no shortage in God's promises. Why preachers? Because Hebrews 6.18 informs us that God cannot lie. He's not man that he should repent. Are y'all going to pray with me? And he's not man that he should lie. Are y'all going to pray with me? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look it up. It'll tell you. Talk to God. Cannot lie. Are y'all going to pray with me? For, for, for yes, we know that Christ came in the flesh. Yes, he did. He came to teach us how to live godly. He came to save our souls. We know he came because we were bound by sin and separated from God. We know he is now sitting on the right hand of God the Father, waiting for permission to return to collect his bride from this earth. Are y'all going to pray with me? We make up his bride. All of the churches, talk to me somebody, that's grounded and rooted in Jesus Christ. We make up his bride. Talk to me somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? We know he's coming. We don't have to wonder. We don't have to speculate. We don't even have to ask no fortune teller. Or no, even, even no psychic. Talk to me somebody. Because his resurrection and his word is all the proof we'll ever need about his coming again. The ancient Jews, my beloved, the ancient Jews in their day were anxious for deliverance. Oh, yes, they were. But we who are God's people, we are already delivered. Talk to me, somebody. Are y if you're saved, you're delivered. Talk to me, somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, yeah. And we should live godly with daily expectation of our Savior's return. For we should be looking not to know hills but to the sky realizing that that is where our help comes from our help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth and has the awesome power to receive us in the rapture talk to me somebody y'all gonna pray with me now Hebrews 10 37 says yet for a little while stay with me Hebrews 10 37 says yet for a little while he that shall come will come and will not tarry and will not tarry but now when when we consider a thousand years is only one day with the Lord a little while for the Lord then should enable us to clearly see that there is no way that our earthly clock can figure out anything that's going on in God's heavenly clock talk to me somebody when he comes is hidden from us Talk to me, somebody. Y'all going to pray with me? The angels in heaven don't even know when he's coming. Are y'all going to pray with me? He don't have a calendar on the wall talking about this is the day that I'm going down for my people. Talk to me, somebody. Pray with me. Everything shall be all right. Now, now, now the children of Israel in the text were experiencing a misunderstanding. They were looking for someone to come who would deliver them from the yoke of bondage. They believed their deliverer would take the foot of the Roman Empire off of their necks. They were so occupied with this extravagant idea of victory that their minds made no room for the idea of a spiritual savior who would deliver them from their sins. Malachi said this Messiah would come suddenly. Are y'all going to pray with me? But the Jews would have to wait patiently for 400 years to come to pass. There's 400 years between Malachi and Matthew. Talk to me somehow. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even after 400 years, something else would have to happen first. A preacher named John would have to require and demand the people own repentance from sin only then would Christ project the spiritual reality for Israel's expectation talk to me somebody Bible students you ought to know what I'm talking about talk to me somebody are y'all going to pray with me well you see Israel was spiritually handicapped with a delusion but we Christians have no delusions in this regard because we have a blessed hope that is sure a blessed hope that is sure. Talk to me. Titus, why do you say that, preacher? Because Titus 2.13 says, we are looking for that blessed hope and the religious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. First John 1 and 2 says, and when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Now stay right there. 
Now, in order to see him as he is, we have to be born again. Dressed up, dressed up in our invisible, heavenly bound, spiritual outfits. If we are buried in our graves when he comes, we will be raised incorruptible, wearing our invisible, heavenly, spiritual outfits. Talk to me, somebody. And if we are living when he comes, we'll be changed from mortal to immortality, wearing our invisible, heavenly bound, spiritual outfits. And then all the saints of God will be miraculously caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. Those that are in the graves are not going before those who are mortal whenever he comes, living whenever he comes. Talk to me, somebody. Talk to me, somebody. Well, won't this take a while, preacher? Won't this take a while for the Lord to do something like this? Talk to me, somebody. How quick can you blink your eye? Talk to me, somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, in the moment of the blinking of an eye, talk to me, somebody. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall all sleep, but we shall all be changed in the moment of a twinkling of an eye. Talk to me, somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, yeah, this world won't know what happened. Talk to me. Say, where is John? Talk to me. Where? No, where is Sister Sally Sue? Talk to me, somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, you driving down the road. You say they don't look like there are too many cars on this road today. Talk to me. There ain't no traffic jams. What's going on? Talk to me, somebody. Somebody is going to leave this world in a miraculous way in the twinkling of an eye. Talk to me, somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? I know somebody may not want to hear that, but that's Bible stuff. That's in the Bible. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, there ain't something Benjamin said. That's in the Bible. I'm just repeating what's in the Bible. Talk to me, somebody. And when he shall appear, he will reward us with justification. That's eternal. Grace and mercy. That's eternal. Fellowship with the Father. That's eternal. Comfort from the comforter. That's eternal. A beautiful home in heaven. That's eternal. Let's give the Lord some hand praise. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We know what's going to happen to us in the future. Talk to me, somebody. We don't have to worry about Trump. We don't have to worry about what's taking place upon the face of this earth. We know what's going to happen. Talk to me, somebody. Oh, it's true, my beloved. And those who lived in biblical days, they had delusions. But in this lukewarm Christian society uh, of today, we find we have our own misconceptions to deal with. Even preachers, even preachers in this day and age seem to be more concerned about distributing prosperity and feel good spiritual sedatives from the pulpit. Never mentioning the blood Never mentioning the cross. Never mentioning even the sins of the people. Talk to me somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They tend to lead folk to expect a leave my private life alone type of gospel. Amen lights. Talk to me somebody. Some folk today want a gospel preach that will give permission for them to, to live a life of sure pleasure this side of heaven. But we've been deceived. We've been deceived by a prosperity gospel that promises us the world and all that it has to briefly, to briefly offer us. Talk to me, somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, yeah. What you have, what you possess, or what you're going to get. Talk to me, somebody. It's only going to be briefly. <laughs> Talk to me, somebody. Y'all going to pray with me? It can't stay with you forever. Talk to me, somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, if you pray with me, you can't take it with you. Talk to me, somebody. When you, when you talk to me, it's when you die. You can't take it with you. Are y'all going to pray with me? 
And that's why, my beloved, we run the risk. We run the risk of folk thinking that the old time true gospel no longer lives. We talk about giving some of that old time religion. Talk to me somebody. Yeah, as far as some people are concerned, it's extinct with them. I don't want to hear that. Some folk will, will leave the church because they don't like the preacher's preaching. Talk to me somebody. Yeah, but that's a crown in the preacher's, uh, that's a star in the preacher's crown. Talk to me somebody. Uh, are y'all going to pray? Blessed are ye when men shall persecute you. Huh? Are y'all going to pray with me? Say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven. Talk to me somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to have, you got to have the truth preached. Yeah, you, you, you see, you, you see, truth in, in, in this world today is an endangered species. Talk to me somebody. There is no truth. Yeah, 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 in the White House, there's no truth among our politicians. Talk to me, somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Somebody got to stand up for what's true and right. Talk to me, somebody. You got a light. You got to let it shine. Talk to me, somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah, yeah, I know somebody don't want to hear this today. But ain't nothing wrong with that. Yes. Yes, it's true, my beloved, that we celebrate the advent of expectation of our coming Christ. He has promised us in 2 Timothy 4, 7 and 8 that when our earthly fight has been fought and we have kept the faith, he has a crown of righteousness waiting for us. How precious it is to know that various crowns will be rewarded to the faithful saints of Christ. Oh, what a time that will be. The song that we now sing on earth will become a reality in glory. We sing the song entitled, We Shall Wear a Crown. That begins with the word, Watch ye therefore. Ye know not the day when the Lord shall call your soul away. If you're fighting, striving for right, you shall wear a robe and a crown. I'm going to wear a crown. I'm going to wear a crown. When the trumpet sounds, when the trumpet sounds, soon as my feet strike Zion, lay down my heavy burden, put on the robe and glory, shout and tell the story. We shall wear a crown. Talk to me, somebody. Yeah, we shall wear a crown. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm almost finished. But now when we look at the Jews who were partially in the dark about the coming Messiah. But in Luke 2 and 25, my beloved, it tells us of a man who was totally knowledgeable of the coming Messiah. It tells us of a just man in Jerusalem named Simeon who was waiting for the Messiah, the consolation of Israel. The Holy Spirit had revealed to him that he would not die. Simeon, you will not die before you see Jesus the Christ. Now, how many times have we prayed for unsaved relatives? How many times have we prayed for our unsaved neighbors or friends? We pray that death don't silence their voice. Yes, 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 yes. And remove their daily walk from this side of the grave before they see Jesus. Talk to me, somebody. Are you, are you currently praying for anybody that you know is saved in your family circle, friends, neighbors, or whoever, co-workers? Talk to me, somebody. Are y'all gonna if you are saved, talk to you got a light, and that light ought to be able to shine in somebody else's life. And let them know about Jesus. Time is winding up. The darkness is getting darker. Talk to me, somebody. Yes, yes, we need to be aware of this. See, yes, yes, we find my beloved Simeon was at the temple praying when Mary and Joseph brought baby Jesus for a blessing. Simeon recognized Jesus the moment he saw him in the arms of his parents who were faithfully entering the temple. Are y'all going to pray with me? Yeah. Simeon heart, yes it was. Simeon heart was greatly prepared to see Jesus. Well, it's true that Simeon, oh, yeah. I said it's true that Simeon was 
at the temple and his heart was prepared yes to see Jesus seeing Jesus was all the proof that we need to know that Christ comes to a prepared heart yes Christ still in this present day and age comes to prepared hearts Simeon's heart was prepared he was prepared to see Jesus. His heart was prepared to see Jesus. A prepared heart consists of men and women repenting of their iniquities in order to make room for Christ to abide in their hearts. For the heart is important. The Bible says man looks at the outer appearance, but God keeps his eye on the heart. While man looks at the clothes and jewelry you wear, the house you live in, the car you drive, the job you have. It's true that man steady looks at all of this, but God steady looks at the heart. And he also looks at that which should not be in the heart. It must be swept clean to allow room for your Savior to abide. And Christ must do the sweeping. Talk to me somebody. But we cannot cleanse our own heart. Some folk may think they can, but I say again, we cannot cleanse our own heart. Why so, preacher? Because we can't get through one day without committing sin in some way or another. Talk to me, somebody. Y'all gonna pray with me? In the early years of my pastoring in Jersey, in a testimony and service, some sanctified sister stood up and said, I live close to the Lord and haven't sinned all day nobody had to call her a lie because the Bible had already called her one the Bible says if a man say he has no sin he is a liar and the truth is not in him talk to me somebody are y'all gonna pray with me yeah 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 there ain't nobody walking around here that's lie proof talk to me somebody you can speak a lie. You can talk, think a lie. You can imagine a lie. Talk to me, somebody. Are y'all going to pray with me? Satan is busy in the back room of your mind. Talk to me, somebody. Uh, he, take you play, he take your mind places where you don't want it to go. Talk to me. And some of the places you want it to go. Talk to me, somebody. How wonderful. It is to be redeemed by the blood, quickened by his spirit and transformed by his power. And as we wait for our master's return, let us be mindful of James 5 and 8. Be ye also patient, establish your hearts, because the coming of the Lord drive not, draweth nigh. Talk to me somebody. Are y'all gonna pray with me? And as we wait, my beloved, we should embrace our daily Christian duty. What should we do, preacher? We should do justice. We should love mercy. And we should walk humbly with thy God. Serve each day with great anticipation. Knowing that the days of our service are numbered. Talk to me, somebody. The days of singing on the choir are numbered. The days of ushering on the usher board are numbered. The days of serving on these various ministries are numbered. The days of preaching in the pulpit are numbered. The days of serving as a deacon are numbered. The days of serving as a deaconess are numbered. The days of serving as a mother on the motherboard is numbered. The days of serving as associate ministers are numbered. Are you all going to pray with me? If you pray with me, everything shall be all right we must wait patiently for that glorious day when the earthly toils will be exchanged for heavenly thrills 
earthly discord will be exchanged for heavenly harmony. Earthly darkness will be given away to heaven's light and this earthly labor and all of its burdens will be rewarded with crowns in a heavenly home. Yes, the advent, the advent, good God Almighty of our deliverance is at hand. And when Jesus sees us, good God Almighty, and when we see Christ like Simeon, we shall know him in an instant. He's not going to look like no stranger to us. Good God Almighty, we're going to know who he is. Good God Almighty, we're going to know him. Good God Almighty, are you all praying with me? We shall bow when we see him in humble adoration and be caught up to meet him in the air. And a certain hymn writer tried to describe it with the words of his song when he wrote some. Good God Almighty, some, some glad morning, when, when, when this life is over, I, I, I fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. I, I fly away when, when, when I die. Hallelujah, by and by, I fly away when the shadows of this life have grown i'll fly away like a bird from prison bars have flown i'll fly away when 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 i die hallelujah by and by i'll fly away just a few more weary days and then i'll fly away to a land where joy shall never end i'll fly away when 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 i die Hallelujah, by and by, I fly away. Oh, glory, when, when I die. Hallelujah, by and by, I fly away. Good God Almighty, yes, I fly away. I want to be able, good God Almighty, to see those 12 gates in heaven. Good God Almighty, I want to be able to walk those golden streets uh, that they say up there. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, I, I, I want to be able uh, to hear that angelic choir uh, sing glory, uh, glory, glory uh, to his name. Uh, I, I want to be able uh, to join in with him uh, to praise his name. Uh, good God Almighty, uh, somebody said uh, they want to see their mother. Uh, God Almighty, uh, I want to see my mother. Somebody said they want to see the daddy. I want to see my daddy. But first of all, good God Almighty, first of all, first of all, first of all, I want to have a little talk with Jesus. Good God Almighty, I want to tell him about my troubles. Yeah, I want to thank him for bringing me through bringing me over bringing me from under <laughs> yeah i want to talk to jesus i want to talk to jesus hallelujah i got time to see mother i got time to see daddy but i want to talk with jesus hallelujah hallelujah ain't he able and he able, won't he make a way for you? Won't he come and see about you? Won't he save your soul and make you whole? Hallelujah! He died. He died on Calvary's cross. Yes, he did. He gave up his life that we might have life. After he finished dying, they took him down and laid him in a borrowed tomb. Amen. Some people still believe that he's in the tomb. But I believe he got up. <laughs> That's what the scripture said. <laughs> and he lives. I know he lives because he lives in me. Yes. Oh, yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Is there one? The doors of the church swings ajar. Is there anyone here who wants to join this church? On your Christian experience. Candidate for baptism. It ought to be so. 
that if you don't know about your soul and where it's going when you die you need to come time is winding up oh yes it is time ain't as long as it has been you look around every time you look around somebody else is gone they're crossing over one by one oh yes they are after a while and by and by death is going to knock on the door of your soul and going to say this day or this night your soul is required of you where will you spend eternity oh hallelujah where will you spend eternity hallelujah will you spend it with the Lord Jesus Christ or will you spend it in eternal damnation everlasting torment in a place where the worm dieth not in a place where there is eternal suffering some people don't believe in hell but there is a hell if you can believe that there is a heaven you might as believe, well believe that there is a, a hell this bible speaks of both this is the word of God it speaks of both heaven and hell is there one is there one when it's, when it's doors are open invitation to discipleship is being extended is there one God bless you you may be seated oh thank you Jesus when it's over Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's give the Lord some hand praise. We thank God for how he has entered into our service today and, and has blessed accordingly. Amen. Amen. Trust that you were able to receive something from what the Lord has said through me. Amen. That wasn't Benjamin talking. That was the Lord talking. Amen. Amen. All right. At this time, we're going to prepare and make ready for our Holy Communion, partaking of the, the Lord's Supper. If there are those of you who do not wish to remain, you may be excused at this time. For well, the Bible says, he that eateth this bread and drinketh this wine unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to their own soul. I say again, is there one, is there anyone who do not wish to remain at this particular time? You may be excused. Amen. All right, we're going to ask that Reverend Studdivant, Reverend Jackson, go down and in order that we might proceed with the partaking of the Lord's Supper. Amen. The Lord has been good to all of us. Amen. Amen. Not just some of us, but all of us. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Scriptures teaches us that after Jesus had completed his evangelistic tour, Jesus realizing that the day of the Passover was fast approaching. Upon realizing this, he along with the disciples pressed their way toward the holy city of Jerusalem. But before entering the city, Jesus instructed the disciples to go into the city. And upon entering the city, he was to come upon a man bearing a pitcher of water. And there they were to follow this man into a house and then into a large furnished upper room. And in this large furnished upper room, they were to make the necessary preparations for the Last Supper. After the preparations had been made and after Jesus and all of his disciples had so very faithfully assembled around the table, Jesus gave thanks for both the bread and the wine. The bread which represented his broken body, the wine which represented his precious shed blood. We realize that we're not fortunate enough to hear 
precious voice of Jesus as he gave thanks for both the bread and the wine. But right here we're going to ask Reverend Jackson to ask God's blessings upon this bread and upon this wine. Ask that God will change it from a common to a spiritual use, Reverend Jackson. Lord, we come in the name of Jesus once again, Father, to thank you for all of your love and all of your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for our, the reason of our celebration right now, God, that Jesus hung, bled, and died on Calvary's cross and got up on the third day morning. Lord, we do as your words say now, examining ourselves, continually examining ourselves and ask you to forgive us for all of our sins so we don't eat or drink unworthily. And God, we love you and we praise you. Take the, the natural element and turn it into spiritual element, the little wafer, Lord. Turn it into spiritual pieces yes, of your Lord, body, yes. Lord, and that wine, Lord God. Turn it into spiritual wine for our yes, bodies, yes. for our minds, and our souls. And Lord God, we thank you for this opportunity once again. We give you praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Let us all stand. Let us be dismissed as we see fit. Let us exit the building as we see fit. Bless your heart. Let us continue to remember to pray that the Lord might continue to bless us. Amen. Praise the Lord.